Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Matthew Savy here for LockerKnown.com, and today I have here the all-new Kodak ESP9. This is the latest model in the line of all-in-one printers. So being an all-in-one printer means that this machine right here is a printer, scanner, copier, and fax machine all-in-one. So obviously what we're going to look at first is the printer right in the front here, and one feature that I love about this printer is the paper is stored in these two drawers underneath the printer. You have these guides to align the paper so it feeds into the machine correctly. You have the smaller drawer for letters and notes to print. And the greatest feature about storing the paper under here is obviously it doesn't have the paper standing up in the back, which most printers do. And by keep storing it under here, you can actually check the paper levels inside the menus on the printer, which we'll get into later. So I'm just going to close these. And as soon as you do, it automatically checks the paper levels, like I mentioned. So the next thing we want to look at is we're going to take a look at the scanner lid up here. You have um, the rest of your instructions and guides on the front here. Um, it's uh, the sheet of glass right here and the white backdrop here for scanning your documents. And another great feature is the lid locks up in a straight upright position. So you don't have to go holding it like this every time you want to go and scan something. Just press it on here. So that locks up here. And another great thing is, let's say on... A regular scanner, you're going to go and you're going to scan a book. which So you want to keep the book on the computer or whatever. And you place the book in here and the lighting is all uneven. It's slanted. It's on an angle. It doesn't look good at all. Now, so the feature that comes with the new Kodak ESP9 is the entire printer lid, or scanner lid, I should say, lifts up off the base to allow for larger documents. So that's another good thing there. And... Uh, the pegs also come out on the bottom here if you need to adjust it or anything. You place them back, you just tilt it in, and it goes right back down. So, back side. If you have extremely large books or documents, that's why it comes off. And you have the copier and the scanner here. You just uh, place your documents upright on the top here. You also have the other guides here. And if we move down into the front here, we have uh, your multimedia ports right here. You have a uh, room, a slot for your SD card, uh, a USB port for your camera, and everything else you're going to need right here. You have right here, as in all printers, the expandable tray that comes out uh, for longer documents if you don't just want them coming out all overflowing over your desk. Um, you can access your smaller paper right here without pulling the entire drawer out. Let's go check the paper levels again. And uh, the entire panel right here, if you reach behind here and pull, it um, comes out on an angle for easier access to all the controls and everything up here, which I'm going to show you. If we take a look in the back of the printer, you'll see that we have all your connections in the back here. You have obviously your USB cable to connect it to your computer, your Ethernet cable to, for connecting um, to your network, obviously the power cable, which it um, sort of helps all using the printer. Uh, for your fax machine, you have your exit out and line in uh, for your phone line. So here's the panel in the front with all your controls So in the LCD screen so you can go through all the options, the on and off button. And uh, the printer is also um, compatible with Wi-Fi so um, you can connect to your network also with the Ethernet cables as I mentioned. So next let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the main screen here. Let me just zoom in for you. So right from here you can check your ink levels, your paper levels, uh, manually at the top here we have the copy document option. You could change it up to 99 documents. Just press uh, the back button, it skips up or down. Uh, copy photo. You can view and print your photos. You can actually um, just insert your SD card or plug in your camera. You can view them right on here and print them directly from your camera, which is very nice. Go down here, the scan option. You can send a fax. And if we look down here, you could go ahead and check your ink level. So we have your black and colored ink, uh, your cartridges. Um, each cartridge is for a $10, so you can get a new black cartridge, and the color cartridges are only $15. So the ink is dirt cheap, So and it la also lasts for quite a long time, so you don't really need to worry about that. As I mentioned, you can check your paper levels. It shows both trays that you have here. Um, you have your nozzle correction, so 
It just prints a test sheet. Uh, you can also clean them. You can also clean the print head. Um, you can actually format your memory card, view them on here. You can uh, print a test page. So let's go uh, back up here. You also have uh, plenty of help documents in here. It shows you how to install a cartridge. You can just move around everything with the arrow keys uh, and the OK button inside the menus. So uh, you can go into your Wi-Fi setup. It explains everything right here. It's uh, very easy to connect to Wi-Fi. I have it connected to my network right now. The fax auto answer, you can turn on and off. If you only have one phone line, which I do, you could turn this on or off by using the left and right arrow keys. Now, this is for if somebody calls while you have this on with only one line connected, it will go straight to the fax machine. So but if you want to receive a fax and you only have one line, you could contact the person and tell them or you can give them a time frame when you're going to turn this on. You just turn it on, they can send the fax, and then to use your phone again, you can just go ahead and turn it back off. So to go back along with the control panel, we have your arrow keys, your up, down, left, and right keys with your OK button for navigating through the menus. You have your menu shortcut key and your zoom in and out keys. The start button, which um, you just go into the option that you want to perform inside the menu. And you just hit start once you sell your options. The cancel button for going back in the menus. Or um, just canceling a print session or scanning anything. Uh, your keypad. Another feature that I'd like to go over here is the built-in duplexer in the back of the printer. Now, what this is for is, let's say you're scanning a book like I mentioned before. Now, in the book you have text on both sides of the page and normally you would just scan one side of the page print it out, scan the other side, print it out and do the same over and over and over again for all your pages but now reading this can be quite annoying because you have so many blank pages and it's just generally a waste of paper what we have in the back here is the built-in duplexer on the new Kodak ESP9 what this does is it brings the paper through these rollers here flips it over takes the other side of the paper from your scan and prints it on the other side of the paper so that's extremely useful you save tons of paper you cut down how many pages you have in your document so that's something else very useful here the Kodak ESP9 can print up to 32 pages per minute in black and white and up to 30 pages per minute in color um, the entire touch panel here is uh, 10 inches the entire screen across here um, everything it's an entire touch panel you have all your notifications here if you're connected to Wi-Fi or your network. The color LCD screen in the front is a total of three inches across so um, it's pretty decent quality for just viewing your photos, um, zooming in on them and seeing them before you print them just by plugging in your camera and inserting your SD card. One thing about this printer is you do not need to connect it to a computer to use it. It is completely free of anything else. You just insert your SD card, print your photos, you could send faxes, scan stuff, print stuff out without the need of a computer connectivity at all. I would highly recommend this printer to anyone. It's easy to use, easy to set up, um, all the great features about it. It's another high quality product from Kodak and it's great for either the home or office. This has been Matthew Sabia for LockerGnome.com and YouTube.com slash LockerGnome.